I'm going to show you how to use your volumetric pipette accurately and precisely. Just make sure the pipette is clean and dry before use. Hold the pipette in one hand and the bulb in the other and immerse the tip into the bottle of the oxidant so the tip is about one inch below the surface. Do not pipette this by mouth. Instead, use the bulb to draw up the liquid until it is an inch or two above the meniscus line. So in one motion, one quick motion, you will lift up the bulb and cover the top with the tip of your finger that's holding the pipette. You will now let the level of the liquid drop to the meniscus line, which is hard to see on the camera, but it's clearly visible to me. I like to bring this up to eye level. So once, you, once you're there, gently scrape the sides of the tip on the inside of the bottle and bring it over to your reaction bottle. Place the tip to the side of the reaction bottle towards the bottom and let the liquid drop into the bottle. Allow it to drain completely on its own. Do not blow the liquid out. And then when it's done, just kind of gently tap and roll the tip against the bottle. Make sure everything is out. So do not rinse the pipette between successive fillings of reaction bottles if you're doing multiple bottles. Um, instead, you can place the pipette carefully into a plain glass container, tip down, or you can lay it on its side in a manner to prevent the tip from touching anything. When all bottles have been filled, carefully rinse the pipette into the waste container used for spent reactions. Uh, see the ABV video for further instruction. Just take your waste bucket, some DI water, and just rinse it directly into the bucket. and allow it to drain out.